Alright, I'm back uh, with another video here, and today I'm going to go over the RAM and ROM in my computer, that is um, random access memory and read-only memory. Uh, ROM is the simplest, and I'm going to go over that first. Um, what ROM does is it, it stores the program for the computer. It's read-only, which means you have to manually input the values, and the computer can only read from it. It can't write new values to it. So this is the addressing here. This chooses which line. And whichever line is uh, chosen, right now the zero width line is enabled, um, what happens is it turns that wire off. And any torches that are on the side, which represent the ones, and a space represents a zero in the binary code, uh, that's output um, either on this side or on this end here to the... Um, relevant components of the computer. And this supports 32 lines of code, um, and each instruction is 32 bits long. The RAM is quite a bit more complicated. Um, the way I've done it here, I have 8 registers, that's 16 bytes. And so the first 8 bits will come over to the right, and are stored here, and the second 8 bits come over to the left, and they're stored here. And then they're both output the back and they're stored um, or they're you know, pushed back in the machine here in a feedback loop. Um, and these are the three address bits for this side and there are three address bits for this side. Um, these both come from the same source <laughs> however the order that they're plugged into uh, the RAM modules is arbitrary because even if this one is on the first register and this one's on the fourth register um, that wouldn't happen but uh, even if it was, it wouldn't matter, because it's always going to pick the same pair at the same time. So the values will always get where they need to go. Um, and now I'm going to go over how I built the uh, RAM. I went through several designs. Um, I already had a working design, but I wanted to make a better one. So this is what I was working on here. Um, and... In my previous RAM that I built, uh, which is this here, I accidentally chopped off the top layer with World Edit. Um, but this uses horizontal registers, um, where the actual register goes left to right here, and these are the eight bits. Um, and that was a complete mess for wiring the decoders. And so what I did here is I created eight vertical registers, where the the memory each register is three blocks wide and this is one register and this is the next register and this is the next one um, and so it turned out to be a lot faster so these are the address bits um, so you just go to the decoder for the right input which is here and then that's decoded and then it goes up and down these spirals and it's plugged into every single register and the decoder um, the address also goes to the output decoder, uh, which tells the machine um, which register to output the value from, because there is no read bit. It's always reading. So whatever register is selected is always outputting its value. Uh, that's the way my architecture works. Um, and I'm not using a vertical computer, uh, so the inputs and outputs need to be spread out vertically. And this glowstone isn't just to be pretty, it's here for a reason, because this this is basically the setup. So you've got a wire going over this piston here. So when you have this, this is fine. But however, when you update this piston, it this basically turns it into a bud switch. However, because of the unique properties of glowstone, uh, namely that it will not transmit a signal downwards, um, this doesn't work. I mean, you, you can't transmit a signal downward off of Glowstone. Uh, so it won't pass a block update downwards. And so if I turn this on and I update both of these... Oh, come on, server. Yeah, so if I turn this on and I update both of these, only this one moves. This one is not interfered with. So that's what that Glowstone's for. And that's basically the RAM that's in my machine. And if you want a tutorial, um, I can provide one. 
So uh, thanks. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Thanks for watching. See you next time.